Hi, my name is Susanne Onsverder. I'm a researcher at the National Institute of Public Health and the Environment in the Netherlands at the Department of Public Health Genomics and Screening. I'm also a PhD candidate at the Amsterdam University Medical Center in the Netherlands, Department of Human Genetics. I recently published a paper, Policy Guidance for Direct-to-Consumer Genetic Testing Services, a framework development study in the Journal of Medical Internet Research. This paper is an interesting read for researchers, policymakers, law enforcers and regulators, and medical experts in the field of genomics and mHealth. In our paper, we explored the online offer of commercial genetic tests, also called direct-to-consumer genetic tests. With these tests, consumers can gain insight into their health and disease risk based on their genetic profiles. First, we reviewed the risks and benefits that are associated with these tests. We did this by distinguishing the different steps in the purchase process, from the moment the consumer is exposed to the offer until the consumer receives the results and acts on them. We call this entire process the consumer journey. Furthermore, we developed a checklist for policy guidance. This framework consists of a list of characteristics of direct-to-consumer genetic tests that may cause risk or benefits for consumers in their environments. An example of such characteristics is the quality of the information that is provided when the consumer receives their test results. Often, genetic risk information is difficult to understand. And when consumers do not receive clear information about what their results mean and how they should interpret them, they may misunderstand the results. And as a result, they may make misinformed decisions about their health. Our checklist lists 38 of these characteristics in a structured way. It is a tool that can help policymakers, regulators, and law enforcers. The checklist and consumer journey combined can help to assess whether or not the offer of direct-to-consumer genetic tests can be harmful or helpful for citizens. We chose to submit our research to GMIR publications because of the topical fit. The journal focuses on the intersection of healthcare, internet technologies, and consumer health. Furthermore, GMAR publications targets a broad audience, including policymakers, medical experts, and researchers. We hope that you, as a listener, will enjoy and make use of the insights published in our paper in the Journal of Medical Internet Research.